troubleshoot. There's an interesting, fairly new concept of um, how to learn jiu-jitsu. And before we get into that, let's quickly highlight different ways how you can learn jiu-jitsu. And classes are the most common. We have private lessons. We have seminars. We have drilling sessions, which often they are focused on um, repetition and kind of not thinking, but just repeating over and over and over, doing the same motion a thousand times, not necessarily doing thousand moves one time, right? Um, in in there, obviously sparring session and open mats and all that is extremely extremely engaging and it brings a lot of benefit. However, there's one thing often not talked about, and that's flowing and troubleshooting. What does this look like? I often do this with my students, especially the more advanced students. <coughs> we take opportunities of specific situation, perhaps passing guard or opening a guard or escaping side control, maybe escaping top control, whatever that situation is. But I want you to slow it down to about 10%. 10% resistance. It's not about power, it's not about control, but it's about fluidity of the motions. Try to connect the dots, try to connect the steps, try to um, make it as fluid as possible while your partner is just there. Now, critical point to the success of this entire exercise is cooperation of your partner. Okay? So let's take a step back for a moment. Jiu-Jitsu is such a unique activity that you and your partner are trying to execute their own plan, your own plan. You have your own plan, your partner has their own plan. Often those plans don't align. They are trying to pass you, you trying to defend, you trying to sweep them, they are trying to submit you. Whatever the case is, we have our own plans and they never, rarely, they rarely link together. They always counter each other, right? That's why it's a competition. We're trying to submit each other and, and trying to put ourselves, or trying to put our partner in these vulnerable positions. Now this exercise particularly is talking about full cooperation and that's because this is not a competition. This is a teamwork. We are trying to develop a skill of flowing between position to position to position, between move to move to move, between step to step to step. So if you can create that efficiency between these motions, these transitions, these concepts, you don't have to think about them when the life training comes. So how do you achieve this? You and your partner pick a position, whatever the case is. Um, often, um, we put about three minutes on the clock. And within that three minutes, I'm going to execute the position, and you are just my uki. You are just my partner. You're not doing anything. You're not countering me. You are essentially cooperating with me. And my job is to execute these motions in a very slow manner, but very fluid manner. It's not the power. It's not the speed but how I connect the dots and how smooth I make this whole process. Now you do this 10 times, 20, 50, 70, 100, and I'm pretty confident that your process not only will smooth out, it will become very effective, very efficient, but also you're gonna stop thinking about the individual steps and you're gonna start noticing other opportunities that are taking place. And regardless of your level, I highly encourage you to engage in these exercises. You can take a very simple drill and turn it into a flow. As you flow, new opportunities get created. Keep on rolling.